God, a cutie. What are we going to do with you? You're caught in all mine. <laughs> there, there. It's going to be just fine. The knife at your throat is just to make sure you feel at home. I'm sure you've dealt with things like this all your life, haven't you, you scum? <laughs> Isn't he cute? He can't even abide by his own words. He's so hopelessly in love with killing, cutting, blood. <laughs> then what's wrong with any of this? They just need to learn their place. Learn how sharp a knife can be. Learn how deep it can gouge you right in the eye. <laughs> he is just being honest. Shouldn't everyone? Everyone should be so honest and so pure. No, now, Toga. No licking the victims yet. They haven't even agreed to play our game yet. It's gonna be so much fun, I promise. <laughs> You're gonna love us, I promise. There's enough crazy to go around, I I swear. Scout's honor. Oh, you said that to all the victims before you cut out their tongues. You didn't have to go and say all that, but... <laughs> Maybe it's best they know what happens if you don't abide by everything I say like it's your goddamn law. <laughs> I could be a little knife happy. Oh, that's putting it lightly. Remember how you carved me up the other day? I'm honored to be a piece of your art. <sighs> <laughs> I do love carving you up, making you feel. I never understood, Toga, exactly how craziness, how addictive it was. The blood, how you felt this whole time. I didn't understand it at first, but you, you made me understand. And now I run the place. And as for you, the wonderful little captive, we're gonna have so much fun with you. <laughs> Biting my lip. You've got some fighting you still, don't you? Guess we'll have to take advantage of that. <laughs> we might as well treat them nicely. And maybe... Maybe they're just like us. Maybe they don't understand how much we have in common. <laughs> you see, that might just be the point. Slow burn, I like it. Maybe you could be like one of us. One of the heathens. <laughs> oh, that's what they call us. Psychopaths, murderers, you name it. And what does it really matter? Nothing separates us from anyone else. We're all the same. The difference is we're hunters instead of prey. Like you heroes were. Like I was. Oh, don't say that. You weren't prey. You just didn't realize you had fangs under there. <laughs> As for you... Oh, I've got such plans for you. It's gonna be great. You'll love us for what we do to you. For what we change in your mind. We do corrective things. Make sure you understand where you stand in life and what you should be. How you should be just like us. Of course they'll be like us. They won't be another failure. I'm sure of it. <laughs> You could say I have a good feeling about this one. Oh, make no mistake. I believe they can be something useful to us, whether for work or play. How do you fancy yourself? How much do you hold those beliefs of a hero? <laughs> you actually think you can withstand it. Life on this side of the coin 
doesn't work like you think it does. Simpletons like you will never understand it. <laughs> then again, it's that naivete. That's what drives you to us, isn't it? You think you can change us, bring us back. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I wouldn't change anything about myself. You're the mad one. You're the one that holds back everything. <laughs> Look at you. You slink back every time I get closer. Isn't it adorable? You can't handle it, can you? Well, can you handle knives? Maybe mutilations while we're at it. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun together. It's gonna be amazing. Just like I had fun with Kachan. Oh, Kachan. He thought he was my friend, didn't he? Until he stabbed me in the back. Then I just stabbed him in the back and he seemed so surprised. And then when the blood didn't stop, I didn't stop stabbing him. I learned that one from experience. <laughs> but come on. You know I'm not all bad. I'm not gonna wreck you that much. I wouldn't want to disappoint. All Might. See, he's right over there. Can you see him? <laughs> Your expression at seeing him. He's a trophy on my wall now. Because he betrayed me. That's what happens to those who betray me, the lucky ones. I had to give him credit. He was the one who raised me. The one who gave me this power. He's the one who made me anything but a quirkless, worthless fool. And look at him now. I wonder if he regrets calling me a monster. He could have got away. Maybe lived. Maybe become my teacher again. But no, he had to play things the bad way. He had to go and act like a hero when he didn't have any power left. Well, let's just say it was too late once he realized it. There was no going back. I mean, he chose to give me the power. He trusted me. And he was a fool when he didn't believe me. When I killed Tomura, I didn't do it because I wanted to, but no one forgave me for it. And I realized at that moment, the world's out to get you. You can't just go trusting people, can you? No. That lands you. Labeled the crazy one. You look like you're so ready. <sighs> what are we gonna do with you? You know, I was going to consider letting you go and stuff, but where's the fun in that? You just go along your life being weak, being prey. So I thought I'd save you. Like I saved dear Taku. <laughs> and now, he runs the show. I think you want to be a part of this show, don't you? I can see it in your eyes, that hint of glisten, of potential. Oh, you're so interesting. What do you think we should do with them, Taku? I think they might need to be broken. Slowly. Hmm. Yes, that's just how it has to be. You understand? We need to make you an example to all the heroes. To make you lose yourself and find a new you. Yes. <laughs> Doll, don't be too mad at me if I break you now. It's for your own good. You knew that, didn't you, doll? The moment you were captured, all of this, it's necessary. For your own good. It's all for your own good. It's all for your own good, like it was my own good. Now look at me. I'm stronger than I ever was. I'm a hero now. 
A hero who isn't afraid to take the lives of those who wronged me. A hero who doesn't back down from anything. You know, doll, I'll take good care of you, okay? You just stay right there. <laughs> See? Isn't it great? When I take you ask my out. When I show you, doll, where you really belong in this world. The people who really care about you are right here. Right here. There's no room for us to love you, fake. There's just no way. We can't do that now, can we? <laughs> There's no honesty in it. None whatsoever. That's why... That's why we gotta be honest. Honest. <laughs> you are tasty. That must have been why you were chosen. You have the tastiest blood. <laughs> Just a pinprick, and it's all over. Everything's over. But it's just beginning. You do have a point there. <sighs> They've got the tastiest blood. <sighs> <laughs> Delicious. I could just eat you up here and now. <laughs> What's the matter, doll? Getting shy now? Poor little cutie. You are so adorable. <laughs> Your reactions make my heart race, and it just feels so touching, so enticing. I want to see how deep this rabbit hole goes, and I want to see it when you break. Speaking of such things, you should be very careful now. We could just do something terrible to you and leave you on the side of the streets for some unsuspecting victim to see you and get framed. We wouldn't want that. And I know you wouldn't want that, doll. No, no, no. You want us to make you just like us, don't you? <gasps> Say it. Admit to it, doll. Feels better to admit to the truth, doesn't it? You heroes always want to find the truth, don't you? Then come on. Say it. Say how you really feel. I've watched you for a while. I've seen you do the hero things, but I've seen that other side of you. You're corrupt down to your core, doll. You're corrupt down to your core. Now it's just about you admitting it. Why don't you be a good little doll and admit it so I don't have to break off a few hands or melt you first? Unless you're into that kind of thing. Well, then you best get ready, doll. We're just getting started with that. Come now. You know better than that. You know this is all for your own good. I care about you. That's why I want you to make the right choice, even if I have to force you to make it. Then again, maybe you'd like that kind of thing. You do seem the type who might be a little into me as a person. I think they're more into me. <laughs> They like to be pushed around by a cutie. But they're the cutie. <sighs> oh, come now. You know you're more into me, aren't you? 
We may both mutually want you, but I'm so much better, don't you think? Better kisser, better to hold you, better to make you feel safe. <laughs> As if you would feel safe right now, doll. You are nothing more, nothing less than my cute little doll. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, and what if I say you're wrong? What if I say there's so much into me? Can't you see it? What then, dear Deku? I can see that nothing is gonna change if we stay like this. We'll just keep fighting over them until they break, and not in the way we want. How about a little friendly competition? That way, they have to choose one of us. They won't break and we won't rip them to bits. It'll be so much fun. <sighs> Who goes first? Now I'm curious. I can barely wait. <laughs> you really think I'm the patient type? You know me too well for that, Toga. You know exactly who's going first. Oh, big man. Threatening me like that. And after I'm the one who got you into all this. You've got some guts, but what if I say no? <laughs> what then, dear Deku? What then? Then I'd say you should back down before I lose my patience. You know who's gonna win here. Gonna hurt me, are you? Well, I don't believe you. You don't got the guts. <laughs> Besides, your power would destroy the entire area. And then what? Then what, dear Taku? Then what are you going to do? I don't think you have a way of tormenting a dead body. Smart of you to use them as a threat, but... What makes you think I care so much about that doll that I wouldn't risk their life? And putting you in your place. Oh, we both know you're crazy about them. You're so interested. You want to see how deep this torment can go. This love of ours for them. <laughs> you are just like me, aren't you, Toga? I guess we're a perfect match when we don't disagree. <laughs> no, I'm going first. Leave. Sorry, not sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. I like to watch. <laughs> to enjoy yourself, little cutie. I'll be watching every moment of your departure. And as for you, Deku, you're such a naughty boy, but that's why I love you. <laughs> that's the last thing I'd like to hear from you. You're the naughty one. You showed me what it's like to stab someone for the first time. The love of blood. Everything. Now let me show them. And see what happens. I'm not sure they can handle me. Not at all. No, they can't. I know it. So if you get scraps after I'm done, don't blame me for it. No. Blame yourself for being weaker than me. You made me the monster that I am today. So don't regret it, Toga. Don't ever regret it. Why would I regret it? Of course I wouldn't. I get to see you have 
so much more fun. I can practically smell the blood in the air. It's so intoxicating. Ignore that one. You're mine right now. Or did you forget who's holding the knife at your throat? Who's holding the desire to break you? To make you mine in so many different ways? It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I'm not drooling because of that. I'm drooling because of how incessant you are that you have a chance at remaining sane. I won't let you. I won't let you at all. <laughs> Your mind's a toy with you, know that, don't you? You should be experienced in this already. We have to catch you up, don't we? You, who's so, so adorable. You are so addictive. I could never get tired of it. The taste of your fear. The taste of you being my doll. I want it all. All of you, doll. You're mine from here on out. And there's no question about it. No, no, Deku. There's no reason to be shy. We might as well both enjoy their company. <sighs> so you say. But you know... They're mine. And you know I don't like sharing my dolls. No, you know I've broken every single one of them so much. And you've seen it. You've seen so many of them, Toga. What makes you think I wouldn't add you to my collection? <laughs> because you can't bear it. You can't bear to see a world without me. You like me too. Isn't that right? Admit it. You want more of me too. And I want more of them. You always were greedy, Toga. But that's what I like about you too. You don't know when to stop. A true villain after my own heart. <laughs> Oh no, you're gonna make them jealous at this rate. We wouldn't want that, would we? Or maybe we would. A jealous cutie to toy with. I'm practically seething. <sighs> what do you think, you? You who's so enamored by all this. Are you scared of us? And that would be the natural thing to do, wouldn't it? Be afraid, cow, or beg for your life, but you've done none of that. Why? <laughs> Just have a death wish or something. It doesn't matter. Nothing will change your fate. You either give in, or you die. You be one of us. You join us in our crusade against normal. And you become just as twisted as us, or you cease to be. Come now. It's fun. Once you get used to it, you get to have so much fun tasting blood. Tasting fear. Nobody ever believes it. But I wasn't so different from everyone else at one point. I wasn't always as productive as I am today. It was a process. Just be patient, and we'll make it a pleasant one. What'd I tell you about getting involved, Toga? I guess I can't force you to. You are cute when you're stubborn. So, why don't we have some fun with them the old-fashioned way? You know what that means. 
I don't have to explain it to you, do I? We're competing over you. So, it's your job just to enjoy. <laughs> don't tell me you're scared. Of little old Deku. I'm sure you've heard of all of my descent. Wouldn't it be nice if the world was that innocent? We'll take our time with you. I thought it was going to be just me, but someone's too stubborn to leave. <laughs> don't you just like the extra attention? You really do, don't you? How adorable. My doll. Very, very adorable. Now you're getting greedy. You know they'd probably want to talk to me. Have a little special time. But I don't want them thinking that I'm just wanting them for something so simple. No, I enjoy your company, your taste, your smell. You're everything. I'm legitimately interested in knowing you, too. I don't just want to be like you. I want to get to know you inside and out. Truth be told, I'm usually misunderstood. I only killed those people for someone I loved. Someone I thought loved me, too. And they were only bullies. All of them. Every kill I've done, while some may be a pleasure, others just make me sad. I can be pretty normal for a villain girl, you know. That's what she says, but she's done a bunch of things with me. I'd say she's the reason why I'm this unstable, but also the reason why I'm actually sane now, instead of lied to. Instead of seen as a freak, now everyone sees me, and they look at me with fear instead of disgust. I found my place in the world thanks to you, Toga. I understand what you're saying, and you too. Duh. You don't have to be scared anymore, because we'll take care of you. I'll take care of every desire you have. I'll make every single thing... You thought wasn't for you. Just perfect. And then you won't be able to go back to being normal. It's addictive, you know. This bloodbath of a life we're living every day is so filled with exactly what you'd expect. Passion, pleasure, everything. It can all be yours, you know. Don't make a mistake and think that we kidnapped you because you... We're something of a hero, no. We kidnapped you because we saw the potential. You were masquerading yourself, pretending to be like everyone else, weren't you? You were pretending. Now you don't have to pretend anymore. Now you could just be yourself. You could be everything. Everything you want to be without hesitation. We'll even set you up for it. Everything is pathetic world has can be yours <sighs> you know for all everyone wants to call me terrible I was the only one who stuck with dear Deku he'd be all alone and sad and suffering if we didn't stick together we're the best kind of family the one that doesn't break apart like the League of Villains. I may still have a tad, tiny, teeny, eensy, weensy bit of hatred for them for it. But it's nothing a few stabs can't fix. They just have to let me pick where. Then maybe, maybe I can forgive them. But you're not like them, aren't you? You're so different, and I bet you're a whole lot more honest. <laughs> Just
judging my reaction so far. <laughs> That's right. You understand the position you're in, doll. Why even make it a big deal, right? We can have all the fun in the world now that no one can stand in our way. I run this city now. At least no one can stop me from doing so. Instead, I try and make a family. I try and bring more people together. You're my special doll. Oh dear. I think we made a mess of them. What a shame. Now what are we going to do? Isn't it obvious? We have to teach them how to be a good little doll. We have to make sure that they're obedient and good in everything. We'll have to teach you so many lessons, but there's good, there's silver lining at the end of it. You'll be our pet forever and ever, won't you? I know it's what you want. After all, you're like my puppy, but you're my doll. Yes, I chose you. We chose you. That's right. Aren't you the lucky one? You get to be a part of everything. Just you. Me. And Deku. Ah, uh, don't you feel so lucky? You get all this attention. We're practically drooling over you. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm more seething after them. But I can't deny it. You're my doll for life. I may have broken a few dolls along the way, but you're nothing like them. Isn't that right, doll? I could see it. A new side to you awakening. We'll be sure to nurture it. To make sure you understand just how important you are. Just how amazing. We may be psychopaths, but I think you'll find that we're very dedicated ones. Dedicated ones that'll take care of every last need of yours. We'll make sure your dreams come true. Baby, you can count on us. Mm. That's correct. Nothing will change. We'll all be a happy family together. We'll be dating in love. Whatever you'd like to label it. I don't care. Personally, I just love you. I love making you cry out. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? You're the one who wanted an escape out of your life. I studied you, doll. I know how much you want this. Even if you don't want to admit that you want it. You want to stay with us, so follow your heart, and don't be stupid now. It's not like you could escape. There'd be no honesty in it, no truth. I agree with Toga on that. There's no sense in living a life when you're living it half-heartedly. You're just existing. You're not thriving. You're empty. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants someone who's fake. Someone who's empty. Someone who's gone. Too far gone. And then you met us. And then we took you into our loving embrace. And that's why you can't leave. Because love never stops. <laughs> you don't want to leave. I know you don't. I can sense it. You want to be right here. Kisses and love, 
for the rest of time. Why don't you just admit it, cutie? You're addicted to us already.